What is going on YouTube? This is DBZ4 and I'm coming at you with my first place Invoke Dogmatica Dragoon deck profile. I'm very excited to showcase you this deck profile. Now I know the best variant of this deck is probably Invoke Shadal Dogmatica, but uh, I went ahead and kind of took out the Shadal package and incorporated the Dragoon package along with other uh, cool cards. And so quickly through my matchups, uh, my first round of my locals, I played against Altergeist. Then I played against a blind second Dragoon uh, deck where I had like hand traps and going second cards like Kaijus and Slumbers. Um, I beat that. Then uh, my third round, I went ahead and played against Invoke Shadal. And finally, in my final round for the championship, I played against Invoke Dogmatica Shadol, and I pretty much almost 2 0 every single opponent. Um, I'm very happy with the build. I pretty much wouldn't make any changes, really. Uh, but if I do, I'll mention it later in the video. And yeah, without any further delays, let's go on with the main deck, starting off with the monsters. Uh, first off, obviously, we do play the three Alistars. Um, you know, it's Alistar. What's <laughs> more to say? The best normal son of the deck. Searches Invocation, gets your plays going. Uh, pretty cool. Well, the one neat thing I actually did in the tournament was that I searched Invocation, obviously, with this, and then I used Invocation to fuse my Red Eyes of Dark Magician in my hand to make Dragoons Raw. And so that's something uh, neat that you can do with this deck, I guess. Uh, following that, for the Dogmatica package, obviously, we do play the Triple Ecclesia. You know, the card that searches stuff. And also, you gotta keep in mind that this card cannot be destroyed by, uh, battle by extra monsters, uh, from your opponent. And so, like, it's, it's, it's a pretty good wall. It can be at times. And it can get beefy with, uh, the other Dogmatica card, Flutus. Uh, next we do play the, uh, Double Maximus. Uh, yeah, I know it's kind of weird to play two, but the reason why I do play two instead of one is because if I do open it, Right, and then if I have the Ecclesia, I can search some other Dogmatica card. And like this card really gets your plays going in terms of like searching the schism and whatnot. So uh, I, I do think Double Maximus is the move. You can easily cut it for another knight or another card if you want. Uh, but I do like to play too. Sometimes I do side out the copy. Uh, and then I do play the one knight. Uh, it's pretty good. It gets your monsters beefy. It can uh, negate a face up monsters effect without even targeting it. So that's really good. Uh, and you can also, like, uh, so say, like, you have this and Alistar. You normally summon Alistar and link it away for Almirage, especially some of this card, link away for Verte. And then you can make uh, Makaba, and then you can make Dragoon. So that's a two card combo. Also, you can do that with Ecclesia. You special summon it, but then you don't use your second effect. It comes up sometimes, but. Not all the time. The main thing with the Dragoon is that you it's just, it's a follow-up play, and it's good for going second because sometimes it, you, you need it to help break boards or you know burn the life points or whatnot. So anyways, uh, moving forward, we do play the one Pankertop. So I did have like 39 cards in my deck. I just needed to put a filler. Um, and so I went ahead and played the Pankertops. I may cut it for a Harpy's Feather Duster uh, for the sake of my locals because they do play a lot of uh, back row heavy stuff. So yeah. Uh, next, we, for a hand trust, we do play a Triple Ash Blossom for obvious reasons. And then we do play the Gamma Package. So a Gamma Package is really good because, you know, there's a lot of starter cards in, like Prosperity, Meltdown, or whatever. And if they do decide to Ash it or draw you, Lancia you without controlling a monster, you can easily just drop the Gamma. And then pretty much this game there, you just go Omega and the further along your plays. Uh, then the one driver, the brick, and then the more bricks, you do play the Red Eyes and Dark Magician. This did get kind of annoying um, because, you know, you may open, you know, a combination of these cards. And, it, and you know, it can be bricky, but there's so many, like, one-card starter cards in your deck. Like, you, you can afford the bricks, essentially. Uh, so, yeah, we do play the Triple ma Magical Meltdown, obviously. You know, switch your Alistar, and then gives you that protection. So you, people have to remember that if you have Meltdown and you Invocation, a player, like, um, belled my Invocation on activation while I had this. I was like, oh, okay. So, you know, they pretty much, like, discarded their bell for no reason. So you have to remember that Meltdown does protect your monsters with uh, with activations and stuff like that. Uh, next we do, obviously, play the 3 Nadir Servant. Uh, this card might get hit in the future. Uh, but so broken, you know, you can just send a monster from your extra deck and then search a Dogmatica card, uh, and then you don't have to special them for the rest of the turn, but by then, like, you've already established your board. So a really good card. Uh, next we do play Triple Prod of Prosperity to 
search even more, make your deck even more consistent. Um, the banishing does become a problem. Like, at a, like there are very few times where you do need to banish six to like get to something, but most of the times you do banish just three and just get whatever you need. Uh, next, we do play a triple forbidden droplet because it's probably one of the best uh, cards, you know, to go first or second to break boards. Uh, the attack modulation does come up a lot. And yeah, I mean, your opponent can't respond to it. So I mean, for Red Droplet, it's an excellent card. Uh, following that, we do play the tri uh, double triple tact uh, tactics talent, not three copies of this. And the reason why is because sometimes I break with this card, you know? And so like, uh, I think running two was perfect for me. Like you do want to see it, but at the same time, you don't want to see multiple copies of it. It's a good going first and second card, you know, whether you need to draw two cards or if your board is already stacked and go ahead and rip a card from your opponent and get the information or you can go ahead and like take control of your opponent's monster and link it away for dragoon and it's also dragoon out so talents is really good in my opinion and two work fine uh, obviously the double invocation you could play three if you really wanted to so like you know if your opponent does ash or Valor or Imperium, you're out, so you do have the extra copy in your invocation uh, in your hand. Um, you know, it's nice. Uh, and then uh, the one Red Eyes Fusion for the Dragoon package, the one Call by the Grave to hit those annoying hand traps, Droll, Lancia, all that stuff really does hurt you. Uh, and then finally, for the spells, you do run the one Terraforming to search the uh, Meltdown. And for my two traps, I do play the one Schism and the one Punishment. Uh, you know, Schism's really good, it's, it's what really. Um, Made, made this deck so powerful with, you know, being able to summon Window for free and having an established board is just really hard for opponents to play, especially in this kind of format. We do play the one punishment. We don't play multiple copies of it because we do want to go into our extra deck. Uh, this this is essentially, like, if you already have, like, a really stacked board and you just need to search something else, you know, you can go ahead and search the punishment. And it could be potentially two pops. As a 40-card uh, uh, build and, yeah, moving... On from the main deck, we'll go ahead and start off with the side deck. Uh, we do play the Triple Nibiru, one of the most impactful uh, going second hand traps right now. Uh, going against a combo deck, you drop this and you're pretty much nice. Uh, next, we do play the uh, Triple Lancia. You know, obviously, you know, against matchups like you know mirror matches or dino matchup or whatnot. Uh, this card's really good; can shut them out. Uh, with Drytron's coming around now, I may cut, like, a copy of each and play, like, double Droll. I need to incorporate Droll somehow, some way. Uh, you know, I, I do predict that Drytron's will be one of the best uh, decks moving forward. Uh, we do play uh, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, obviously, to get rid of um, Problematic Back Row. And, yeah, uh, next we do play a Triple Dark Moon No More. You know, for those established boards that have five, six negates, you just drop this and then you pretty much win. And then finally, we do play evenly matched, uh, really good against you know, rogue or heavy back row that do doesn't have really much negation. This card is an automatic blowout. And yeah, that is it for the side deck. Uh, the only change I would incorporate is probably adding drill some some way, and then maybe adding the harpy's feather feather duster. Uh, moving on with the uh, extra deck, we do play the one dragoon. Obviously, uh, we do not need to play dragoon in this build. I just is this more of a more win condition kind of thing you know um also when you do go second like dragoon may be more of a prevalent option to break boards or whatnot and just some decks can just uh, outright not um get over this card so this card is absolutely nuts uh we do play the one titanic clad you know to search your dogmatica stuff and people have to remember that you can also special summon a dogmatica card so if you don't have your ecclesia Right, you can go ahead and special summon the Ecclesia from your deck during the end, end of your turn, and then um, search a Dogmatica card, most likely in the night. Um, and then you use it to, you know, summon Winda when you do your uh, server combo. Uh, the one Apcolone to search the Schism. The one Winda, obviously, to prevent your opponent from special summoning. The one Construct, uh, you know, to, you, know, you can sometimes dump it to add the Schism back. Um... Or just to make it raw, you know, so just to use your schism to send a light monster from your opponent's side of the field to the grave is comes in handy sometimes. For the invoke fusion, we play the uh, one Algodias. Uh, this card is really good. It can just pop something and then get really beefy, so that's pretty good. It's also Dragoon out. I uh, want uh, Purgatrio to also go for game. You know, you have Al Mirage in your grave, Ash, whatever, and just attack all your opponent's monster pierce and whatnot. Uh, the, the double Macaba, you know, not much more to say about this broken card can, you know, discard to negate an activation, you know, based off, you know, the card they activate. Uh, really nice. 
it also like you know when you when you when you summon this card like pretty much says no to like hand traps so so yeah uh if we play the double ants uh you know for the punishment or you know maximus whatever you send it off and get a free pop uh obviously we do play the one verti to get out your uh dragoon the one secure gardener and the one Almirage, you know, so when you link uh, when you link off your Alistar, you have the extra, extra uh, Almirage in your graveyard to use your Maximus. So that's why we don't play the Light Monster, the Magistus card. Um, if I did have space, I'd play it, but I don't, unfortunately. And uh, the one Omega, uh, you know, for the uh, Cyframe uh, Gamma package, you know. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the deck profile. I mean, it's pretty, you know, plain and simple, really. Uh, the only pretty much spice is the Dragoon. Uh, if you guys like this deck profile, you know, go ahead and please like and comment, subscribe. Uh, we try our very best to read your comments and respond to the community and help the community as much as we can. And have a nice day.